Kia ora. Good morning from New Zealand yogis. We're going to jump into a morning flow to awaken your energy and your awareness to have a beautiful day, no matter how far into your day you are. So let's get straight away into it. Sitting back into child's pose. Let your knees spread wide or close together, whatever feels better. We're going to sweep the arms wide out in front. Allow your heart to soften down. We'll come to a place where we can rest the forehead to the earth. And start to feel your breath expand in all directions. So no longer just breathing into the front of the chest, but also into your back body, your side body, even up and down. Breathing here, taking the time to notice sensations in your body, maybe where you're feeling tight or tired or sore. And starting to feel as if you can direct your breath specifically into those places to energize, to heal, to awaken. And starting to call on your inhale to energize you even more, allowing your inhale to really fill up your body. And let's do open mouth exhale here, release tightness, tiredness, all out, breathe it out. Two more that way. Inhale deeply. Feel more energetic, more awakening. And exhale. Breathe out tension. Once more, draw in a long inhale. Open mouth, exhale, release. When we inhale, let's shift more weight toward the hands. Shoulders even moving past the wrists. Your feet need to draw closer. Go ahead and do that so they're hips distance. So we start to send the heart more forward. And then as you exhale, draw your hips back exactly to where you just came from. Your child's pose. So simple shifting of our weight forward, opening the heart, feeling the inhale start to lift you more. And exhale, settling into the grounding hips back toward your heels. One more on the exhale. Let's drop it here for a moment. Then as you look forward, bring your forearms down. We'll bring ourselves into a prone position with the belly down. Release the tops of the feet down. And then see if you can line up your elbows right beneath your shoulders so we're in our sphinx position. And it almost feels like you drag your elbows back and down to send your heart more forward. Let the sides of the neck draw back. Feel your shoulders continue to drop back and down. So we're really broad across the collarbone. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, keep the shoulders drawing back, but let your chin fall to your chest. If you've just woken up, then you might feel some stiffness in the neck. So we'll just gradually let the weight of the head fall forward to open up some lines around the neck. And then keeping that feeling of heavy head, start to bring your chin closer to your left shoulder. And then nice and slow over to your right shoulder. So it begins to feel like your chin is a slowly swinging pendulum between your two shoulders. And as you make that movement, you might find a place that needs a pause, maybe an extra breath or two. Chin comes back to center. Nice work. Slowly lifting your gaze straight ahead. All we're going to change is tucking the toes so you get a little more energy in the legs. As you inhale, chest moves forward, maybe gaze slightly up. And then as you exhale, looking in toward your navel, we're going to push into the elbows and start to bring the belly, the hips, the thighs up away from the ground. So starting to find some core awakening. And then as you breathe in, reverse that process. So draping the lower body, then the belly, lifting the chest. Exhale, curling into yourself, pushing down into the forearms, the elbows, lifting belly up away from the ground. And then as you inhale, reversing that process, finding the lift. We're feeling our cat and cow movement in the spine, but with some core engagement, lift up. And then if you want to, you can also lift the knees, find your way into your low plank. Settling the knees down on the inhale, lifting up last time. 
exhale, curl into yourself, belly up away from the ground, maybe also the legs reach back through your heels, level out, find that strong line. Let's gather the strength we need to greet this day in the best way possible. And then slowly placing things down, nice work. Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, you can come up to hands and knees or maybe all the way back through a plank into our first downward facing dog. Shifting the hips high, allowing the heels to sink. Spread your fingers wide away from each other. Actively pressing into your fingertips to disperse the weight in your hands. And from that firm connection in your hands, feel the sit bones reach back and up higher. Allowing you to feel like you can lengthen through the whole line of your spine. Head is heavy. It might feel nice to bend one knee at a time as if you're walking out your dog. Little shifts of the hips. And if you feel like some movement in the head would help serve you, maybe there's still some strain in the neck. Let's shake that loose. Dropping both heels, press the chest back, and then with an inhale, let's walk the feet to the hands. Lifting up part way. We find length in the spine, maybe even fingertips back toward your shins. And with the exhale, deep bend in the knees, like water in the upper body, pour it down over the legs. We'll inhale, let's just feel the contrast, stronger press through the feet, longer lines through the legs and the spine. With the exhale, softening that water quality, like the waves behind me, just washing over your legs, head drops down. One more time, inhale. More energy, lower belly in and up. Exhale, letting it go. Pressing strongly down into the feet and just like we did with the hands, see if you can spread the toes wide away from each other. Firming down into the feet, maybe feel as we can lift the sit bones a bit more so there's that forward tilt in the pelvis. All of that can be done with bent knees. Drop the weight of your head down. And let's take a slow roll back up to a stand. So keep a slight bend in your knees, let the arms stay heavy. And as we draw ourselves upright, we'll just tap into that internal alignment guidance. So you feel yourself find your best possible posture, rolling the shoulders back, opening up to light. Even if it's not sunny where you are in this particular day, the sun is up there, feel its presence awakening you, calling you into a new day. Hands come back into heart center. Just take a moment, setting some intentions. How do we want to show up today? Start to feel that in your body now. Breathing in. One more deep inhale. Exhale, releasing the arms along at your sides, palms face forward, chest is broad, heart is singing. Let's inhale, open the eyes, salute the sun, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Find that halfway lifted place again. We re-lengthen the spine and then planting your palms, stepping the feet back, high plank. Let's pause for a moment here. Get strong, feel strong. Heels draw back, crown of the head lengthens forward. And then with the exhale, maybe for this first one, the knees come down. Let's bend the elbows straight back, lowering with control. Tops of the feet press down. Let that be an anchor. Then your heart moves forward and up away from the anchor. Low cobra. Exhale, dropping the chest back down. Tuck your toes. Again, through tabletop hands and knees or all the way back up. Strong press to plank and drawing back down dog. Two more breaths here, let it ripple through your body, drawing length from your hands to your hips, from your hips to your heels. With your next inhale, step or hop back to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Uttanasana, forward fold, pour the water over your legs. Let's not forget our bodies are mostly water. So feel less stiff, more fluid. Inhale, reaching upwards. Right into the next one, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, stepping the feet back, high plank. 
take a pause. Inhale, feel lighter in your body. You can place the knees down again or chaturanga up in the elbows. Tops of the feet press. Either way, heart goes forward and up. Cobra or up dog. All the way back, downward facing dog. One more breath, inhale. Press through the hands, exhale. Look forward, step or hop, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, release like a waterfall in the upper body, pouring down the strong legs behind it. Inhale, stretching upwards. Exhale, holding forward, fluid movement. Halfway lift, one more just this way. Work the feet back into plank. Pause, decide how you're gonna lower. Nice and slow with control. Open your heart up toward the sky. Draw the hips back, feel the length in your spine. Length in the backs of the legs. And that light gripping under each of your fingertips, even your thumb. Breath goes out. Inhale, look forward, step forward. And all breath out. Sweeping the arms wide and up. And hands come back, heart center. Big, deep inhale into that space behind your hands. Let the inhale draw in more energy. And exhale, dropping the arms out to your sides. Good, reaching the arms up toward the sky. We're gonna interlace the fingers and then press the palms out away from you. Arms go back up toward the sky. Feet step hip distance apart. Press through the palms, press down through the feet. Go up first and then over to the right. You might feel this tendency to drop your chest forward. Instead, you're gonna roll it back. Keep firming down into both feet, especially your left foot. And then drawing out through the palms even more to the right. Feel the left side body open. Nice, come back to center. Come back to your hands facing each other in front of your heart and then switch. The opposite thumb is on top. Press the palms out, going up through the hands. Now your right foot stays a bit heavier. Go up first and then over to the left. Yawning open through the right side body. And again, keep rolling the right shoulder back a bit more. And then back up to center. Nice work, dropping the arms. Come back to the top of the mat. Finding our way into chair pose. Let's start with hands at heart center. Feet together or perhaps a bit apart. We're just gonna keep the knees tracking straight ahead as you sit back. Thumbs lightly touching to the sternum. Feeling that lift behind your heart. The shoulders keep drawing back. Natural curve in your spine. Nice, yogis. Take a breath. And exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. Your right foot is gonna step back nice and wide. Open up the arms so we get like this cactus arch. The legs are straight. Toes will be slightly pointing out. Arch back. And then bend your right knee, your left hand goes to that right ankle, right arm to the sky. So you're facing that back edge of your mat. Turn your chest to the right, keep pressing your bent right knee out to the right. And then we inhale, come back up to center, get lifted up toward the light through your heart. And then go back toward the front of your mat. Left knee bends, right hand, left ankle, left arm to the sky. So keep encouraging left knee out to the left, stretch into that inner right leg line. And then let's drop both hands. We're gonna pivot, face the top edge of your mat. Drop the back knee down into our low lunge, Anjani Asana, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Your left foot, let's float it straight away back into three leg dog. And then as we shift the shoulders into plank, you've got the option of keeping your left leg up, bending the elbows into your push up place. Both feet come down for a cobra or upward facing dog and then shifting back all the way into downward facing dog. Nice work. Two more full breaths. Looking forward, gathering the feet back to the top of the mat, halfway lift. 
tall breath out. Inhale, rising tall, reaching for the sky, maybe slightly arching back. Hands come into heart center. The other side, palms face each other, thumbs to chest, sitting back into your chair pose. Letting the hips draw back as the heart continues to reach forward. Take a breath in. This time the left foot's gonna step back into that wide open position. Arch back, cactus through the arms toward the back of your mat, right hand, left ankle, left knee bends, left arm maybe upwards toward the sky. Feel the stretch in the inner right leg line. Come back to that arch in between, breathe in, lift. Exhale toward the front of the mat, right knee bends, right arm up. Both hands come down, face forward again. Dropping the back knee down, we find our way into low lunge. Arms toward the sky, or you could even just keep your hands to the top of that front bent knee. Touching the hands down, that front foot, your right foot is gonna kick all the way back into your three-leg dog. Maybe keeping it lifted as you cruise forward into your plank. Slowly bend the elbows and the feet touch down to send your heart through. Hips draw back, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths. Recover your slow, steady rhythm of breath. Feeling more energy circulate through. Looking forward, feet to the hands. All breath out. Inhale, we rise, reaching for the sky. Maybe opening up a little more front line of your body, reach back. Hands come back, heart center. Beautiful, let's cruise through that one more time. We've got the pattern, just making it smooth and fluid. Hands together, knees bent. Strong legs, feel grounded, feel free to breathe even more fully. Right foot will step back, open things up, wide legs, wide arms, open heart. Bend your right knee, get low over that right foot, right arm to the sky. Come back and collect that lift in the middle. Exhale, right hand, left ankle, left knee bends. Make the pivot so we're facing forward, drop the back knee down. You can keep hands low, medium, or high to the sky. Feel lightness as you breathe in. Hands meet the mat, smooth, left foot all the way up and back, three leg dog. Shifting forward into plank, maybe maintaining the left leg lifted. Finding our way into bent elbows, both feet drop, heart lift. Big exhale to press the hips high and back down, dog. Let's breathe together all out. Inhale, step or hop, tap on the mat. Breath goes out. Greet the day, open up, reach back. Last time, last side, bent knees, chair pose. Strong in your legs. Left foot steps back. Open up nice and wide so legs are straight. Toward your back foot. Right hand to left knee. Bending. Open up, lift. Right knee bends. Left hand, right ankle. Right arm to the sky. Making that pivot face forward. Drop the back knee down. Decide how you want to flow through the arms. Wherever your arms are, let the breath in lift you. Collapsing less toward the ground, feeling more reach toward the sky. Hands meet the mat. Right foot sweeps up and back. Your version of vinyasa, maybe keeping the right leg up as you bend elbows. Drawing hips high, down dog. Feet come forward to the hands. All breath out, forward fold. Big sweep of the arms, lifting of the chest. Hands come back in toward heart center. Let's feel for pause. 
more movement, bringing us more energy, maybe more warmth. Feeling your heartbeat behind your hands. Tap into gratitude for all that your body is capable of today. Full breath in and out. Let's work with balance. So starting to shift the weight into your right foot, we'll bring the left knee in and up. It doesn't need to be super high, but just start to feel yourself calibrate, spreading the weight into all four corners of your right foot. Tall through the crown of the head as you press down into your right foot. And then we'll start to float the left leg back. So we're searching out the shape of warrior three, but I want you to look more for length through your back leg, not necessarily height, Keep the hips level, so most likely that means your left hip has to pull down toward the floor just a touch more. Good, feeling the length from your left foot out through the crown of the head, take another breath. And then we'll slowly bend the right knee as the hands touch down. Land your left toes and let all of your weight sink down into your feet. And we'll keep the back knee up away from the ground, but just feeling ourselves really draw into the grounding energy. And your hands are taking on some of that weight too, but we're gonna play now with lightening that up. So start to just slowly begin to hover your hands. So we're charging the feet even more and I want it to feel like your right heel is dragging back, your left toes forward so you could like take off at a sprint. The legs are really charged. And starting to draw ourselves even more upright. So gathering our energy, our strength for the rest of this day. Eventually getting upright, arms to the sky. Nice yogis, and let's once again take that interlace of the fingers, press the palms out away from you, up toward the sky, and then don't change anything in your lunge, but with your upper body, let's lean over to the right. Yawn, open the left side. Feel the front of the left hip get really nice space. Stay stable in your legs. Right knee stays bending straight ahead. One more breath. And then back to center. Nice work, release the arms. Let's bring hands to heart center, just to hug into midline, lean forward again. We're gonna spring off the back toes. Come back through our warrior three. And rising back up to a stand, bend your left knee. And let's bring hands to the left knee now. And if you wanna take it a bit further, we'll bring the left hand inside of the left leg and maybe wrap big Peace fingers around your left big toe. Right hand can go to the right hip. You can start to press straighter through the left leg. And then we're still gonna think super tall. So as right arm reaches up toward the sky, let that be a reminder, go up through the crown of the head. Nice work. And then slowly, with control, drop the left leg down. Well, taking a pause. Getting into the second side, just dropping expectations. That's really a good way to approach the whole rest of the day. Just drop expectations, stay aware, stay present. Weight shifts into your left foot. Let's start by drawing the right knee in and up. Settling, spreading the weight into the four corners of your left foot. And if we keep pressing palms together, we can stay connected to that stable midline as we stretch the right leg back into our warrior three shape. And maybe eventually feeling as if your right heel, your right hip, the crown of the head, they're all in one line parallel to the floor. And we'll slowly start to bend the left knee so we can touch the right toes down. Bring the hands down and let your weight ground more sinking down into the earth, into your hands, into your feet. Setting up that really good base in your lunge. And we'll start by shifting the weight out of the hands. Let the hands hover. And you might still feel like you're really leaning over your left leg. So now start to peel your torso up away from your left thigh. And then keeping that strong lunge. Now it's your left heel dragging back, your right toes pull forward. And we float the torso high. Hands come together, interlace fingers, press palms up toward the sky. 
Keep everything in your legs the same, but go up through the hands and then over to the left. So getting that right side body stretch. Keep stretching back through your right heel. One more breath. Back to center, nice work. Hands come back into heart center. Gather balance, shift more weight into your front foot. We spring off the back toes. Coming back in the way we step back through warrior three. Drawing your right knee back out in front of you. And then just feeling for pause. Maybe hands cradling the front of the right knee. If you'd like to take it further, we'll bring the right hand inside of the right knee. Peace fingers wrap around your right big toe. Left hand to your left hip, get tall and really try to maintain that sense of tall, even as you stretch your right leg out straight. As the left arm floats up, it's a reminder again to lengthen up. And then slowly, stepping back down, hands to heart, close eyes. Return to steady breath. Releasing arms to your sides. Breathing in, opening things up, especially in the front line of your body. Exhale, folding and feeling the balance, the opening in the back side of your body, backs of the legs. Halfway lift. Slowly stepping back, high plank. Nice yogis. And we'll bring ourselves all the way down. Good. Flatten the tops of the feet, returning to our sphinx pose, onto the forearms. Dragging the elbows back, feeling as though we can start to feel a stretch into the whole front of the abdomen. And if you feel like your back is ready to go there, we can push down into the palms and find straighter arms, your seal pose. Shoulders keep drawing back and down. work and then dropping the elbows back down bring them wide and you can bring your chest or your chin to rest in the hands we're going to bend the knees and then shift the knees wide so they're as wide as your mat and let both feet flop to the left and then the right just to rinse out through the low back Both feet up toward the sky, drop them back down. We'll press ourselves up to a seat. Lengthen the legs out long in front. And we'll bring the right knee in. If you end up with a lot of space beneath your right knee, feel free to stick a cushion or something beneath if you've got a block nearby. And we're gonna open up the angle a bit more than 90 degrees. And you're going to be facing over your right ankle. So instead of facing your straight leg like we sometimes do, we're going to keep facing center. Sit nice and tall. And then as if you're just leaning your left elbow toward your left thigh, right arm goes to the sky. Anchor down through your right sit bone, stretch up through your right arm. And then you can turn your right palm to face your left foot and maybe start to find more drop in that right hand. And then for some people who want to take it a little bit further, I want you to think of bringing your left shoulder closer in toward your inner left knee. So you can tuck that in, snuggle it in, and then maybe your right hand might meet your left foot. And we keep rolling the right shoulder back. There's something about opening the side body that is very energizing. Beautiful, right arm back up to the sky. Follow it up with your torso and bring the right hand back behind your right hip. Now let's let the left arm leave the ground, float it up and back so you'll roll onto your right knee and the sole of your left foot, and now open your left side. And you'll feel this even more if you push down a lot into your left foot, and from your left foot to your left fingertips, lengthen. If you feel like you're craving a little more back bend, you can spin your heart more up. and then slowly bringing the hips back down. Beautiful work. Switch sides. The right leg is straight, the left knee is bent. And then as you're setting it up, 
open up your angle a little bit. Your chest is facing right over the left heel, the left ankle, sit tall. And then we'll just let the right elbow kind of anchor down the right thigh. Left arm goes to the sky. Even if you stay here, you're gonna get that side body opening. Maybe start to bring the left palm closer toward the right foot. And then for some people, again, think about snuggling your right shoulder closer in toward your right knee. Your right hand might even go toward your left thigh. And then see what you might get a hold of. Left shoulder keeps drawing back. Breathe and open. More space between each of your left side ribs. Left arm stretches back vertical. Let your torso follow it up. A little bit of core work. Left hand comes down behind your left hip. And now let's let the right arm lead the way up and back as you roll onto your left knee in the sole of your right foot. And then just make this feel good for you. It might just feel good as a side stretch from your right foot to your right hand. Or we can start to roll the chest, the belly upwards toward the sky. Bring yourself back to a seat. Nice work. And let's roll onto our backs. Knees to chest. Drawing circles with the knees together, rolling around the edges of your sacrum. If you notice any tension there, just rolling it out. Switch directions, go the other way. Beautiful. Let's keep the left knee hugged in. You're gonna let the right foot drop down to the mat. Some people, right knee bent is better, or you'll straighten your right leg to the ground. I want you to feel like there's a wall in front of you that you can just gently press your right heel into. So the right toes stay pointing up. And then it's the same pose maybe that we did standing. Your left fingertips, your left peace fingers come around the left big toe. We start to stretch the left leg up toward the sky. And you might get to somewhere like here with the knee bent, totally fine. If you've got a strap or something you can use as a strap, that's a really nice way to do it too, by looping around the arch of your left foot. Maybe pressing the left leg slowly straighter. And we'll see if we can anchor the back of the left shoulder into the ground as well. Let both shoulders stay dropping back and down. Take one more breath. Nice yogis. And then two versions for this. If you want to keep your legs straight, if that's no problem for you, then now swap hands. So your right hand comes to your left ankle or outside edge of your foot as we drop into the twist. That's one option. Option two, we re-bend the left knee. And with your right hand, you just encourage that left knee over to the right. Your left arm is dropping out to the left. Find the version that feels best to you today. You've rolled onto the outside edge of your right leg and your right foot. Let the back of the head be heavy. And then using the inhale, come back to center and let's find two bent knees again, drawing in toward your chest. Right knee will stay hugged in. Let's start with just dropping the sole of the left foot down. See how that feels. And maybe pressing your left heel more forward to straighten the left leg. And even before we do much with the right leg, I want you to feel that you're reaching forward through the left heel and you're squeezing in the right knee. So there's a bit of a balance there between the push and the pull. An option to take it a bit further if you like. Right peace fingers around your right big toe. And just starting to play with it. Back of the head stays heavy. See if you can keep the back of your right shoulder rooting down as you lengthen through your right arm and your right leg. And see, a lot of this depends on the length of your limbs. So if this doesn't happen easily, no worries. Use a strap or you can even just grab lower. You don't have to grab your foot.
feeling both shoulders dropping back, breath moving into belly and chest. And out. Get ready for the twist on this side so you can either rebend your right knee or keep the leg straight if you're swapping the arms. Right arm reaches out to the right and then slowly rolling onto the outer strip of your left leg, outside edge of your left foot. Keep the back of the head heavy so you're still looking up toward the ceiling. And then slowly bringing ourselves back to center. Both knees squeeze in. Let's give ourselves a really good hug. Forehead to knees, squeeze into a tiny little ball of good energy. And then dropping the head back. Keep the knees bent for a moment. Let's plant the feet wide over the side edges of your mat and then let your knees rest against one another so we just feel that spread the low back. One hand to belly, one hand to heart. Tune into the wave energy, the wave sound. Feel that echoed in your breathing. Come back to that feeling. How do you want to show up today? What do you want to share? Feel that as part of your presence already, right here, right now. Not something that you have to search out or chase, it's already there. Embody it. Softly exhale all breath out. Taking a deep inhale, feel the belly rise first and then your heart. Open mouth, exhale both places, softly deflate. Stretch your arms back overhead, your legs long out in front of you. That feeling of that first big stretch of the day. Roll to one side. Slowly press yourself up to your feet. Just taking a moment to appreciate the time and energy you put into your practice, your body, your mind, your spirit. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I love to hear your feedback, so please feel free to leave a comment if you've got any requests. And as you know, if you want to stay up to date on when I post new videos, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Kia ora.